Hi, my name is Dr. Arun Deer. I'm a gastrointestinal and a laparoscopic surgeon. The reason why I want to share this video with you today is one of the concerns is laparoscopic surgeons. What we have is in the current climate of coronavirus infection is the droplets that are produced when we remove the pores from the abdomen and it leads to this spluttering of air which is coming out and it has a potential of forming droplets which can land on uh, inanimate objects and can be a source of potential infection. So one of the techniques that I wish to describe over here is which might be useful for laparoscopic surgeons or anyone who's doing laparoscopic surgery for that matter, urologists, gynecologists and colorectal surgeons and the likes is a technique which is fairly simple uh, it's a slight modification of the equipment that you're already using it does not require anything new that you need to purchase or your hospital needs to purchase and it can certainly be used in emergency situation scenarios so what we are doing is that basically when you see that a port that is put inside the abdominal wall it goes all the way through and that is what allows us to maintain the pneumoperitoneum when the operation is done and when the procedure is completed and the ports are ready to be pulled out what I'm suggesting is there is a three-step process that we follow the first step is that we put in a suction cannula into one of the ports so what that suction cannula does is it kind of stents and places this tube from which we can extract the carbon dioxide once the ports have been sufficiently pulled out so that's the second step. The second step is that we pull all the ports out just into the sheath, into the skin, not all the way out. So they are still within the abdominal wall thickness, but they are not all the way out. So what we do is we are pulling out all the ports and they are still within the sort of the abdominal wall. And the third step is that we use the suction cannula to actually aspirate all the gas after turning off the carbon dioxide supply. So what that allows is it allows the pneumoperitoneum or the abdomen to deflate under vision. It allows the ports to be already out so the omentum which can sometimes get sucked in is prevented. So you've already pulled the ports out into the sheath but you haven't pulled it out completely. Once the gas has been sucked out that's the final step where you remove the ports everything is removed under vision.